We have never seen an emergency like this. Unprecedented. We simply have no idea what will happen now. That does not sound good. Frowning, wanting more information, Kai queried her implant, realizing that it had been more silent than usual since she'd entered the diplomatic shuttle. She assumed the shuttle had security masks in place, but that shouldn't have been a problem on the orbital station. The implant fizzed the way it did when it needed an adjustment, then produced a warning symbol, followed by what was obviously an official announcement. Due to conditions beyond our control, public access to channels is restricted until further notice. We apologize for any inconvenience. Stay tuned for more information as it becomes available. Thank you. Kai damped the implant and looked at the display on the comm desk. The intersystem access telltale still glowed red, and as she watched, it began to blink. After a long moment, it went dark. With a slightly sick feeling in her stomach, Kai accessed the news feed again. No one ever thought anything like this could happen. Attack on intersystem ansibles is just, just unthinkable. Attack on the ansibles? Oh, no. Kai remembered one of the lectures in Strategic Analysis, in which a discussion of the consequences of successful interdiction of intersystem communication had delved into the reasons someone might do it and the consequences thereof. It had happened, far away and decades past, and those responsible were no longer alive, but it had happened. So some people had thought of it, and presumably also whoever had. Her mind came back from that moment of shock-like drift. No Ansible meant no message to Vata Transport Limited, and thus no funds, and thus no repairs for getting her ship safely out of this system, before whoever had taken out the Ansible decided to attack the orbital station.